Would you care for a drink? No. Okay, well, I was willing to share. You know, I have a confession to tell you all. I'm actually not a magician by trade. I'm a nurse. But the great thing about being a nurse is that I get all the drugs before they come out. Not those kind of drugs, the legal ones. Pfizer, the makers of Viagra, is coming out with a brand new way to deliver Viagra. No more little blue pill under the tongue. That's a little conspicuous. Viagra eye drops. I actually got a sample of this. Not that I need it by any means. Not that I need it. I put them in the other day. Nothing happened. But it made it hard to see for three to four hours. One of the big things that transfers from nursing to being a magician is being able to read a personality. And that's very important because if I go into a patient's room and they're kind of a thug, I can go ahead and cuss with them and it will be bonded, you know, OG style. Or if it's a little old lady, I say, yes ma'am, no ma'am. I take her by the arm. I'm gonna show you how I can actually read somebody very easily. I'm gonna throw out this piece of paper right to you. Good, perfect, great catch. I want you to go ahead and start passing it around. Just pass it around. Also look over here. I won't see who it goes to. Just keep on passing it around. <laughs> okay, whoever has it, raise your hand. Tell me, what is your favorite color? Red. It's my favorite color too. You don't believe me, do you? Well, why don't you come on up here? Please be my assistant. Give her a big round as she makes her way up to the stage. Go ahead and stand right over here for me. I'll take that from you. And what's your name? Katie. Katie, it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? Here. It's a nice place you have here. I like it. <laughs> are you into sports? Neither am I. So this will work out well for you. I've come up with a brand new sport. This one's gonna be easy for you and easy for me to play. This sport doesn't require physical agility, mental intellect, or anything else, so it's good for me. We are going to play a game called Balloon Bowling. Are you ready? I suppose. Okay. We have our bowling ball here. It's light. It won't hurt you as it goes down the bowling alley. If you look in there, there's a little note for you later. Okay. So the way that we play balloon bowling is I give you the balloon. You're going to throw it at the 10 pens. Here are the 10 pens. Okay. Not yet. Hold on. I, I need to get ready for this. And after you throw them at the 10 pins, you're gonna tell me how many pins you knock over. Let's give it a trial run. Make sure you're able to do this. Maybe make sure I'm able to do this. Okay, okay go ahead and throw them at the pins. Great job. You're a natural. Okay, let's go ahead and give it one more try. And now do it for real. For real, okay. You can knock over zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pens. How many did you knock over? Um, let's go with six. You knocked over six. Hmm. I tell you, reading personalities is very important. I've got a box here full of pens. I want you to go ahead and open that up. There's red pens, there's green pens, there's purple pens. I want you to figure out whichever pen you want. Let me have the box. I don't want you to hurt keep yourself. You, you keep the pin. Okay. Now take the pin, the sharp pin, please. Okay. And we're going to pop that balloon, and we're going to see what message is in there for you. Maybe we can call it a prediction. Ooh. Ah, very good, guys. Thank you. Go ahead and pop it. 
Okay, I don't want to touch that. I don't want anybody to think there's any funny business going on. If you will open up that message. And what does it say? Six. Katie, thank you very much. So, we got, sure. Give Katie a big hand. Thanks again, everybody. <laughs>